So um, this is the finished, pretty much finished software version and hardware of the Jupiter 8 made of two JPO8s. Um, I've got the JPO8 doing four notes of the lower and a JPO8 doing four notes of the upper. This is a master controller. It um, edits parameters. It also does the note assignments and it does the arpeggiator as well. And it does patch patches and performances. Unlike the Jupiter 8, this actually has 64 patches and 64 performances. At the moment it's on performance 11, which is just a mix of strings and a brass sound. <clears throat> You've got access to the JPO8 chorus, which is not available on the front panel, and access to the delay with the delay t level time and feedback here. Um, and that's available for the upper and lower section. And over here is the arpeggiator, so if I push, just change the speed a little bit. It's based on the standard Jupiter 8 arpeggiator, um, where it'll just basically play the notes in the, in the way that you play them, up to eight notes into the synth. And you've got um, external clock, which is on a quarter inch jack, which is a like not 10 volt pulse. And you've got MIDI clock with start and stop options and back to internal. And it follows the same process as, as the Jupiter 8 um, arpeggiator, where it's basically uh, on the lower section only in split mode and it's across the whole synth in dual and whole mode. So that's that bit. Um, if you the encoder button here is used to switch between performances and presets. So if I push and hold that, it goes to performance mode, sorry, patch mode, and you can see I'm in whole, whole mode there, and I'm set to the lower. So it's just one sound now. I can actually create a performance in patch mode and save it as a performance because I thought that would be a useful thing to be able to do because you don't always want to be in performance mode so you can create one in patch mode and save it as a performance or you can be in performance mode and create one as well so it does both push in the uh, button takes you back to performance mode and calls up the first performance now the JPO8s don't have volume over MIDI don't have um, so there's no way of balancing so I've got volume control here which in return gives me the volume and a balance control now I'm in dual mode so the balance works but if I was in whole mode the balance would do nothing because you don't want to balance the whole keyboard you want to balance in split and um, dual mode so here is a hardware mixer which is basically four VCAs <coughs> mixed down to a stereo pair and this takes the four outputs the stereo of the lower module and the stereo from the upper module and then uses a combination of software to create a balance in dual and split modes and no balance in whole modes um, and that works quite well which gets around the fact that I have no MIDI volume control at all on the JPO8 I think Roland actually may have done that to prevent you making this sort of thing. I'm not sure. Um, so everything's working. The hold's working, hold facility's working, the dual splits is all working, the arpeggiator works. Um, VCF bend I didn't implement. I went for an aftertouch instead. I thought that'd be more useful because v this, again, JPO8 doesn't support VCF bend. Could have... Um, done some software and made the bender um, change the cutoff frequency but really I don't think there's much use for VCF bend so um, I've changed it to an after touch an after touch destination the um, bend facility for the VCO is on the original Jupiter 8 you could bend VCO 1 or VCO 2 again the JPO8s don't support that they only support bending of both VCOs one and two at the same time uh, you can set the depth and you can set them to two octaves or off 
but that's about it. So basically I can set bend on the upper or bend on the lower or bend on both. It doesn't really matter. In fact, you know, in independent bend depth sort of for up and lower weight. Well, I don't know if that would be useful at all, but you could actually do that. So you could have bend on the upper if you're playing a lead section and no bend on the lower if you had a pad or something. So you could do that. And that's fully supported. So in the Jupiter 8, I think that was just a performance option. So you couldn't really save it. So I've made all these options for the VCO bend, VCO bend the after touch, the VCO mod, the VCF mod, and the glide, all as programmable settings, including the volume controls. So they're all, all saved. Um, and that's about it. I've started programming some of the sounds, um, not successfully so far. I've done three three string sounds and uh, a brass, I think. Yeah, three string sounds and a brass, but uh, I will put some more Jupiter 8 sounds in and make some performances up from the sounds. Um, I've got a patch panel. Another thing to, to do that... Uh, the Jupiter 8, the JPO8 has over the Jupiter 8 is the VCO ranges. On the Jupiter 8, you only have a 16, an 8, and a, a sorry, 16, 8, and a 4 foot ranges. Obviously, on the JPO8, you have 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2 for each VCO, which is different. And you have a different, slightly different waveform layout. The noise is on VCO1 and not VCO2. And also they've made the second half VCO2 be the low range setting. So there's no v low button. And I've done a sort of similar thing. I've uh, I've set the range of VCO2. Sorry, the wave of VCO2. And when you when you when you've got the first waves, that's in full range, and then when you've got the second three waves there in low format and the low lead comes on to tell you that you're in low mode in case you're confused and the VCO range pop works differently in both times it's, this is like a um, coarse tune effectively in low mode and in normal mode it's um, like an interval setting from what I've discovered so that's how it works and it works quite well Everything else is pretty much the same. The only difference is down here. Um, there's no no two buttons for the key follow, just one button, which adjusts the key follow off, one, two, or both. Um, could have broken that down into two switches, but realised I'd used to put me um, mux chip here. I was going to put the envelope two key follow there, but it's too late now. So and I didn't want to put it there because it belongs to this envelope. So I left it, and that's about it. I'm just waiting to get a chassis to put it in, um, but it's working. The only thing that bothers me now is uh, Behringer about to bring out the JT16, so this is redundant. Oh, so I guess it saves me a thousand pounds or so.